So thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm going to answer your first question. But first, let's get to your second question, which is, what the heck is that? I've upgraded to a wireless microphone and should not have any more sound quality issues with the popping, cutting out, background noise, etc. So there's a major update. First question, why do you need the NOAA Laser Smart 2? Well, imagine that you're at a craft show, gun show, knife throwing tournament, wherever, and you've taken your laser with you. And somebody wants you to engrave something that's tall and will not fit under the current lens you have installed and you don't have a smaller one or have a smaller one set up. This is where the NOAA Laser Smart 2 will shine. It offers flexibility that is not offered by the competition. So why do you need this? It's the complete package from everything that's included with the laser up to and including the flexibility that it offers the end user like myself. And I'm just super pleased with this. So now that you imagine you're at, your, at the craft show and we're going to engrave this ammo can that is right here. How do we do that? The first thing I want you to see is that I do have the 200 millimeter lens installed. So whenever I push for the focus red dots, we can see those are way out of focus. And to put it in perspective, here's a focal stick that is focused. Uh, it's a little bit above the bed at the moment, but you get the picture. There's no way we can fit that under here. And the gobble head is all the way at the top of the tower. So we have no more height. So if we have no more height, what other solution do we have? Okay, so all we have to do now is just take this ammo can, set it off to the side, and I already have my air assist here. Let me get that out of the way so you can see. Loosen these two set knobs, rotate this tower completely 90 degrees. Lock it back in place. Then we can use our focus dots and actually move the tower, let's see, down. Then it's too far, it's so back up. And right there, we are in focus, then let me frame it. You end up with about 150 millimeters of additional clearance once you rotate this to the side. And then you want to keep in mind that you also have the ability to move the scalvo head even further out. So now we're putting the center of it out here. That's the center of your workspace. And I'm going to turn my air assist on so I can get that smoke blown over towards the fume extraction won't turn it on super loud so that it won't drown out a lot of the sound. And let's get it started. So as you can see right here, our overall width is 197 millimeters on this graphic, taking up almost, almost all of our workspace. It's a 200 millimeter lens. I have ran core file, so I ended up with uh, about 225 on the overall area available to use. Another thing, if you want to take a look at my... Uh, clean pass settings here, but what you want to pay attention to is this layer is set to multi, so we have fill right here, and then multi would be the line that follows the fill, and 
the line numbers are, are the same, it's just one line. Cleanup pass is done, and it looks like it looks pretty good. Probably would rust. I'll treat it with uh, either bluing citric acid or something. But I am very happy with that for now. Basically, what we have right here is a compact package laser that can do big jobs due to its versatility with the rotating tower and the sliding laser path. So that's the number one feature we get from the NOAA laser by Zenzing Smart 2. It's also a complete package because it comes with light burn, it comes with US tech support, it comes with one hour of 1v1 training, it also comes with a six inch exhaust fan, inline exhaust fan and duct work, it comes with real laser safety glasses, uh, OD7 plus for fiber lasers. So you get a complete package at a very competitive price. Uh, haven't saw a bundle like this ever offered by a laser manufacturer. We have something unique here, and so far I am enjoying it immensely. Obviously, it's doing a great job. Stay tuned for video number five. It's uh, going to be a surprise. I'm not going to tell you what's coming up. That way you have to hit the like button and subscribe and, I guess, turn on that bell so you'll get the notifications. I hate having to say that, but I guess everybody does. It seems mandatory. But that's it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see something in a future video regarding this laser, whether it be trying to burn something or any other demonstration, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll try to get around to it. And I do want to mention again that this laser that I have here is a Rekus 50-watt source. They do offer Rekus and JPT from 20 watts all the way up to 100 watts. So you just need to uh, pick which one you want and place your order. Thanks for watching and have a good day.